Hello all you people, Kirby Stopper back here with another video and I am here Friday Night Backlash Friday Night Backlash's first ever pay-per-view Extreme Rules as we are ready for our first match to kick off the show for the IC title, the man that gravity forgot, the intercontinental champion as we speak, Neville taking on the Swiss Superman Cesaro um, in an Extreme Rules match for the IC title um, so if you remember, um, the week before last week, Cesaro was able to pick up a victory over the Intercontinental Champion, Neville, and he was able to get back in the IC title picture, and now here he is tonight facing Neville. So this should be a good contest as we head on to Cesaro making his way down to the ring. Here we go, Cesaro making his way down to the ring. If you remember our main event here tonight, we have... Ryback, number one contender for the WWE Championship, taking on Shawn Michaels, the showstopper. But, like I said, in our following contest coming up for the Intercontinental Championship, the Swiss Superman Cesaro taking on the man that gravity forgot, Neville. So let's get this match underway. You see right there, that's what it's all about. The Intercontinental Championship. See the referee now showing the title to both men. This crowd here tonight. That's what it's all about right there. Let's get this match underway. Here we go. Ref rings the bell. These two men enter the center of the ring. Neville into a side headlock quickly and a huge jumping spin kick. Sorry if my voice is a little weird, a little um deep, squeaky, kind of. I coughed a few times. Just woke up about like 20 minutes ago, just now recording. Anyway, here to call this action. So, Irish whip, Neville bouncing back into a huge body slam. Neville almost landing on his head there. But these two men, great athletes, huge, amazing technical wrestlers. But this might, match not be, might not be so technical due to... The use of weapons in, the, in this extreme rules match for the Intercontinental Championship. But we never know. These two men might not even use weapons. There's Neville there with a huge injury. Back on the attack. Huge spin kick. More shots. Another spin kick. And a huge German suplex. Neville. Coming back for redemption after losing. That was in the game now. Fighting for that Intercontinental Championship. Back on track. Neville needs to focus here tonight. High flying moves might be the downfall of Neville due to him, um, you know, just flying everywhere and trying to show the crowd what he can do. But that's not important here tonight. Is Neville? What is he gonna bring out? Not able to pick it up. Try to bring out a chair there. You can see it on the ground. Huge elbow strike right to the head. Look, going for here. Huge leg drop. Very dangerous right there. Neville just leaves the chair there. Cesaro making his way back to the outside. Now these two men just walking. Is is this going to go on? For, okay, I thought that was going to go on for the whole match. And now Neville throwing Cesaro right back into the ring. Another elbow strike looked like he's going for the leg drop once again. Yes, he connects with it. Now Neville, what he's looking for here. Once again, throwing Cesaro back into the ring. Um, I thought he was going to go for another leg drop, but no. Neville getting up on the apron. Jumping back in the ring. Smash back in the ring. These, men too, these two men finally tie up. Huge drop kick right to the back of Cesaro. Huge shots. Side headlock reverse. Now Neville takes down Cesaro. These two men... Cesaro with a side headlock. Cesaro pulling back Neville into a Samoan drop. The strength of Cesaro. Huge shots from Cesaro. Neville blocking it. Wrench in the arm. Huge kick to the leg. Huge shot right to the face. Head of Cesaro. Shining wizard there. But Cesaro not having any of that. Just no selling it. And now Neville with steel steps. Putting them in the ring. This is an extreme rules match. Neville... Oh, but Cesaro able to knock the steel steps out of Neville's grip. Huge clothesline. And another one. Cesaro 
with his combat on a roll here. He was tilt the world backbreaker. That's this could be it for Neville. Flipping him over. Uh oh. Look at the strength. We've seen this before. One. Oh, Cesaro going for a second gut wrench suplex. Look at this. Two. Once again, going for the third one. Cesaro, look at the strength. And a third gut wrench suplex. That could be it for Neville. Is Neville able to kick out? One. Two. And a two count right there. Neville just barely making it out. Neville now. Huge drop kick to the back again. Cesaro. And a huge drop kick right to the knee. Taking out the legs. Of the Swiss Superman as Neville going up to the top rope. Oh, no! Gets caught with a European uppercut. Neville in trouble. One, two, three. No, Neville able to kick out. How close. Neville looked like he was going up for the red arrow there. But he got caught with the European uppercut. Able to kick out at two. Neville cinching in like a front neck lock submission. Now he's now releasing the hold. Not able to make Cesaro submit. That was a close one there. And Neville barely making it out of the back door. Now Cesaro smart. Working on the leg. Slowing down. Neville. Cesaro now looking for a weapon. Yes, he is. What is he going to bring out? Looking for a steel chair. Neville also looking for a weapon. And he'll try to go for a table. But Cesaro. But Neville now with a chair. Neville striking Cesaro with a chair. And again, and again, Neville just furious, looking to punish Cesaro here tonight. Not picking up Cesaro. Reverse Hurricane Rana dropping Cesaro right on his head on the concrete on the outside. Now Cesaro reversing with a huge knee to the gut. And look at Cesaro now, suplex maybe? No, just the rolling Neville. The strength of Cesaro once again. These two men. Fighting for the Intercontinental Championship. Cesaro once again. Dropping Neville right on his head. Right on the concrete. These two men just fighting it out. Once again. Gonna drop Neville right on his head. Neville has to get, get, has to get back into this. It's been all Cesaro. Right now. Once again. Just throwing Neville. Cesaro just toying with Neville. Just throwing him around. Just destroying him. Just look at the strength. Huge slam by Cesaro. Just punishing Neville right now. Huge shots from Cesaro. Uppercut right there. Once again. Looking to drop Neville right on his head. There's a steel chair. A steel chair right there on the table. Cesaro could be able to use. But looks to just be toying with Neville here. Now he's just catching his breath. Neville back up to his feet. And uh oh. Cesaro, Northern Lights Suplex, and able to roll through. We've seen this before. The strength of Cesaro. Huge Northern Lights Suplex into a Brain Buster. Huge, nice combo right there. Oh, but Neville, able to fight back. Huge kick to the gut. And Cesaro, same reversal. Kick to the gut. Now Cesaro, look at the strength. He's picking up Neville off the ground. Not off the ground, but... Got rent suplex once again there. That was like the fourth one in this match. And once again, looking for another huge body slam right on the broken part of the steel chair over there. Neville in some serious trouble here. Cesaro throwing Neville back into the ring. Cesaro making his way back into the ring. Calling for Neville to get up. This could be the beginning of the end. Uh-oh, Cesaro's got Neville up. Neutralizer! Neville's foot bouncing off that steel steps. This, this could be it for Neville. Two, three. Cesaro is your new intercontinental champion. What an amazing match from these two. You can see there, this, this is when Neville kicked out of that huge European uppercut. Got cut, cut. He got caught with. You saw there the brain buster into the Northern Lights suplex. On the outside. What an amazing match from these two. That's how the intercontinental championship should be defended. Neville, not able to pick up the victory, but Cesaro, you can see here, Neville's foot hitting the steel steps. Possibly could have cost him from being able to kick out, but Cesaro is your new Intercontinental Champion. You can see there, Cesaro celebrating with the title. As we head on 
to our next matchup. And here we are with our next match. Canada's best. Sami Zayn coming out with a new attire here. Some red um, tights. Owens coming out. Fight Owens fight shirt. And since they picked up the victory over Adam Rose and Fandango, who thought they could win in their open challenge last week, Owens and Sami Zayn have asked me for an open challenge, and I said, go ahead. Uh, tag team match here coming up. Sami Zayn and Cesaro, not Cesaro, Kevin Owens looking for a, a tag team face. I see who it will be. Oh my god. It can't be. It, it can't be. No way. Is, are these the New Age Outlaws? No way. This can't be happening. All the crowd holding up the DX signs with their arms and hands. This... Wow. The New Age Outlaws have made their debut here. The Tag Team Champions. Road Dog. And Billy Gunn, the New Age Outlaws here, looking to take on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Not, unfortunately, not for the Tag Team Championships, but Friday Night Backlash Management has told me if Owens and Zayn are able to pick up the victory here tonight, they will have a chance at the Tag Team titles at the next pay-per-view, which will be Money in the Bank. And it's not going to be like real life where the pay-per-view is actually in order. So if you're thinking that, you're wrong. But New Age Outlaw here. Legendary Pyro. Tag Team Champions. Looking to make a statement against the new team of Canada's best against the New Age Outlaws. Well, we'll see how this match plays out. Referee rings the bell. Sami Zayn. Starting off fast, huge jumping kick there, taking down Road Dog, Road Dog tripping up Sami Zayn. Picking up Sami Zayn now. What a huge match we have. Once again, not for the tag team titles, but if Sami Zayn and, and Owens, keep saying Cesaro, if Sami Zayn and Owens are able to pick up the victory, then this could, they will be able to face the New Age Outlaws for the tag titles at Money in the Bank. Once again, like I said, the pay-per-views are not in order um, in this custom universe mode. They can be, like, mixed around. So, don't expect for every pay-per-view to be in order. I might order some, but you never know. It's Owens off the ropes. Jumping senton. Taking down Road Dog. Huge kick to the gut. And now, Owens, huge big boot right to the face. Owens. And here comes Billy Gunn, tag. Billy Gunn hit in now with huge shots, wrenching the arm of Kevin Owens, dropping him down. Technical wrestling here. Picking up Kevin Owens. Should go for a huge shot, but blocked by Kevin Owens in a huge big boot. Now Kevin Owens working over Billy Gunn. And Sami Zayn's holding him now in the corner. Now Kevin Owens is choking him. Devastating from this tag team. Owen, huge shot to the back. And now Billy Gunn fighting back. He was knee to the gut. And a huge clothesline connecting perfectly there. New Age Outlaws back in control. Huge shots from him once again. Owens on the ropes. Billy Gunn now picking him up. Bouncing him off the ropes. And a huge slingshot suplex there. And now picking him. Look at the strength of Billy Gunn. And dropping down Kevin Owens. Now Owens fighting back. Now dropping him down with an STO. Owens looking for the tag possibly. Yes, he is. Sami Zayn back in this match. Side hill lock from Billy Gunn. And a jawbreaker sending Sami Zayn back into their corner. Not back into the New Age Outlaws corner, but back in the Canada's best corner. If you're just now joining us. And once again, Sami Zayn with a huge kick. If you're just now joining us, Canada's best versus the New Age Outlaws in this match. And Sami Zayn, this is early. Blue Thunderbomb. Not going for the pin. Owens in the ring looking to take out Road Dog, I'm pretty sure. Sami Zayn with the Blue Thunderbomb, but Billy Gunn. Frustrated. And now Billy Gunn reversing the Irish whip of Sami Zayn. 
Now grabbing him. Huge stunner to the outside. Billy Gunn making his way to the outside. Sami Zayn looking to throw Billy Gunn right back into the ring. Now Road Dog trying to get involved. But Sammy reverses it. A three count now. Now Road Dog, what are you doing now? Sending Sami Zayn into the steel steps. Everything's breaking loose now. Here comes Owens. Road Dog picking up Sami Zayn. Looking to throw him back in the ring. Now Owens trying to throw him Road Dog back in the ring. Now Billy Gunn making his way back into the ring. Shot blocked. Uh oh. Billy Gunn. Famous sir. Famous are connecting. Going for the cover off of that. Referee two, one, two. Sammy's ain't able to kick out. Referee kind of slow to the count there. Could have been three as Road Dog taking Kevin Owens off the apron. Now these two fighting on the outside. Sami Zayn gets hit with a huge tilt to world side slam. Billy Gunn just slamming his head down. That was almost end of the match there. Billy Gunn able to hit the Famouser on Sami Zayn. Almost ending it, but Sami Zayn able to kick out. Once again, Billy Gunn slamming the head of Sami Zayn down. And gets caught with another tilt to world side slam. Billy Gunn making the tag the road dog. Uh oh, here comes Sami Zayn. Tag it in Kevin Owens. Irish ship off the ropes. Drop toehold into an elbow drop. Nice tag team move from Owens and Zayn there. Uh oh, out of nowhere. Pop up power bomb. Kevin Owens. Sami Zayn taking out Billy Gunn. One, two. And Road Dog able to kick out of the pop up power bomb surprisingly. Same as ain't able to kick out of the famous sir. Road Dog able to kick out of the pop up power bomb. Finisher kick outs all over the place. Owens with a huge backbreaker. This will be huge if Zane and Owens can pick up the victory. Owens going for the pin one. Huge kick out from Road Dog. Now Kevin Owens going for the abdominal stretch. Same as Zane with a reverse DDT working over Billy Gunn. This could be it for Road Dog. And Road Dog taps out. Road Dog taps out. Canada's best has just won this match. That means they will have a title match. A tag title match against the New Age Outlaws at M Money in the Bank. What an amazing tag team match. As we head out to our next match, Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. Will Finn Balor bring the demon? We have no idea. But we will see Bray Wyatt versus, versus Finn Balor in an Extreme Rules match. If you know, um, I think, I'm pretty sure it was the week before last week, which was the second backlash. Um, Finn Balor had a rematch against RVD because, you know, the lights went out that one time. And then we, and then that was the end of the episode. We didn't, Friday night, but night backlash management, I had a word with them. Asking them if the lights were okay, they said fine. Then next week, Finn Balor and RVD had a rematch. Fit Bray Wyatt think just is just sticks his nose in Bray Wyatt's business and hits him with the sister Abigail. So here we go, heading into our third match of the night: Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. Not for a title, just for redemption. Finn Balor looking for payback against Bray Wyatt in this next match. This Extreme Rules match. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Bray Wyatt making his way down to the ring. This eerie, just weird, scary entrance. Bray Wyatt holding up that lantern, saying, we're here. Just look at the, look at the crowd. Bray Wyatt, so-called fireflies in the crowd tonight. And there he is. The Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt, making his way down to the ring. Now this, you know, like I said, this match all occurred due to Bray Wyatt sticking his nose where it does not belong in Finn Balor's business. Finn Balor hitting the Brain Buster on RVD two weeks ago on RVD. Might I add that. Going for the cover, a two count, the lights went out, I asked if 
Friday Night Backlash Management, if the lights were fine, they said everything is in check, ready to go. But, apparently, Bray Wyatt just has a problem with Finn Balor. Now, I have no idea. I had an interview with Bray Wyatt, and he told me that we all have our inner demons, and he wants to bring out Finn Balor's inner demon, and that kind of sounds scary to me. Bray Wyatt now making his way into the ring, awaiting the demon Finn Balor. Finn Balor. There he is. The demon. And yes, he has brought the demon with him. Look at that. Amazing. Finn Balor all painted up here tonight. The inner demon has been unleashed. Like I said in the interview with Bray Wyatt, he told me we all have our inner demons and he wants to bring the inner demon out of Finn Balor. He told me how he thought Finn Balor's face paint, well, more like his body paint, is just amazing. And that shows his inner demon. But Bray Wyatt said he wants to bring out the inner demon. And Finn Balor, as you can see there on the back of Finn Balor, that demon eye. That might... Uh, Bray Wyatt is standing in the ring, not even phased. Finn Balor. Look at confident as ever. Ready to face the Eater Worlds, Bray Wyatt. So let's get this match underway. So these men can get their anger out. And this can be over. Here we go. Extreme Rules match. Bray Wyatt, Finn Balor. These two men tie up in the middle of the ring, surprisingly. And breaks it. Now, Bray... Looking to come back. Finn Balor, he's needed the gut. And taking him down with a crucifix. Finn Balor coming out of the gate. So mad as ever. Huge strike and a Russian leg sweep. Now Finn Balor, pretty sure he is furious after that attack from Bray Wyatt. Just the lights went out. And then out of nowhere, Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper and Eric Rowan just... just just, I don't know, Bray Wyatt, just, just to come out and attack Finn Balor with that sister Abigail, I have no idea, and I have no idea where Eric Rowan and Luke Harper are, they could interfere in this match possibly, I have no idea, Bray Wyatt with a huge strike right there, what is it like, that's the sun, once again I am recording in the morning, so, please just ignore that light, there we go, it's gone now, okay, yeah, it's Finn Bray Wyatt dumping Finn Balor to the outside. Finn Balor looking for a weapon very early. What is he looking for? Not able to get there. Is Bray Wyatt just sliding out the ring, interrupting whatever he was getting? Finn Balor. Bray Wyatt had to go for something there. Huge shots. Bray Wyatt fighting back. Huge kick to the gut. More kicks from Bray. I mean Finn. Now Bray reversing. Huge elbows to the face of Finn Balor. Looking for a weapon. What did you looking for here, Finn? Just leaving him be. Bray Wyatt with a steel chair. Finn looking for a weapon. But Bray Wyatt! Steel chair shots to Finn Balor. Finn Balor able to move out of the way. Huge kick. And a huge shot. Bray Wyatt landing on the back of that chair. Back of his head could. He have a, he could. He can have a concussion. He can't even talk. Just so excited for this match to see who the victor will be. These two men tying up. On the outside. He was shot right to the head. Bray Wyatt. Now Bray Wyatt. Russian leg sweep. Landing right on the chair. Bray Wyatt picking up Finn Balor. Looking for a backbreaker possibly. No. Finn Balor reverses with a backbreaker of his own. Dropping Bray Wyatt down. And another elbow drop. Finn Balor looking to take out his frustrations on Bray Wyatt here tonight. Doesn't let the anger just over control him. He could get disqualified. But he can't get disqualified because this is an extreme rules match. Everything goes. Bray Wyatt throwing Finn Balor back in the ring. Huge elbow strike right to the head. Now Bray Wyatt making his way back into the ring. 
heading to the outside again. You could be looking to go pick up that steel chair, possibly. No, looking for the steel steps and think about looking for a weapon and a kendo stick. Oh, and Bray takes it from Finn. Huge shot to Finn Balor. And more kendo stick shots. Bray Wyatt just viciously, viciously attacking Finn Balor. But Finn Balor able to fight back. Another huge shot right to the head of Bray Wyatt. Now picking up Bray Wyatt, Finn. Throwing Bray back into the ring. Now, what is Br Finn looking for something there? Not getting it all the way. Finn looking for another weapon. What is he looking for now? Bray, stripping off the announce that he blood. What is Finn? Oh my gosh. Finn with a ladder in hand. Huge strike right to Bray Wyatt. That ladder. And it once again connecting right on the knees and shins of Bray Wyatt. Just relentless. And Finn Balor once again. Bray able to dodge out of the way. Uh oh. Taking, takes the ladder from Finn. Oh. Finn taking it right back from Bray. Huge shot again. Finn Balor just relentless here tonight. The inner demon has been unleashed. I think Bray Wyatt has accomplished what he's been looking for. Oh. Finn Balor. Brain Buster connecting right in the outside, but the pinfall cannot be executed on the outside, only on the inside of the ring. It is not falls count anywhere. And now Bray Wyatt. Throwing Finn Balor all the way over into that barricade. But Finn, able to escape, looking for a weapon. Bray does not let it happen, picks him up. And he throws him right back into the ring. Uh-oh, this is dangerous for Finn Balor. Huge kick, not really connecting too much. Oh, Finn Balor looking for an arm bar here. Could have Bray Wyatt. Could make him tap. But Bray able to fight out. And, oh, no! Bray has got Finn Balor. Looking for the sister, Abigail. That could be it for Finn Balor. Going for the cover. One, two, three. No! The demon. Finn Balor able to kick out. Bray. Trying to pull back Balor. But Balor versus with a um, belly to belly suplex. Looking for the cover. One, two. Bray able to kick out. Now Finn, arrow swept to the corner. He got him in the corner now. Uh oh, put him up on the top rope. This is dangerous. Huge power slam from the top rope. That could be it. Uh, Balor going to the outside, getting that steel chair. Uh oh, placing it in the corner. Dangerous. Catching his breath now. But Bray back to his feet. Uh oh. Looks like his plans backfired as Finn Balor sitting 